Greetings, I, the War Al greets you. Now, I used to be Global Elites, but I got fed up with matchmaking. 64 tick servers, 2 minute round timers, 45 second bomb timers, and mountains of cheaters. I eventually just stopped playing, with the unfortunate side effect of becoming unranked and losing my Overwatch privileges. I endeavor to journey back into the slime pit of CSGO matchmaking to restore my rank to its former glory. Since it seems like matchmaking rank is all you people care about on my Twitch stream, this is the road back to Global Elite. I got matched up against some mischievous malcontents who spewed racial slurs like sewage emptying into the Hudson River and consistently derided my work and personally insulted me. It was clear that next time I should probably go incognito. I'm not sure if this hatred is what everybody else experiences, but if it is, we have far more pressing issues with our community than tweaking movement variables. I was off to a bad start, and really, I can only attribute the early failures in this match to my poor aim. It was clear that I had a lot of work to do to climb back up the ladder of matchmaking success. My teammates were a bit lackadaisical, but cordial and overall friendly and willing to work as a team, so we had that going for us, but we started off losing 0-6 against a bunch of noobs spamming P90s and N-words, unfortunately fueling the concerns of anti-Gamergate social justice warriors. Pretty soon, the server started to lag and everyone's ping shot up to over 120, which may explain the prevalence of P90s in what was supposed to be a top-ranked matchmaking match. It was difficult to aim properly, and sometimes it would cause me to throw smokes when I didn't mean to. Later, I found out this was because of the large but terribly inconsequential update to the game. Congratulate Sparkles on getting his sticker into the game, by the way. Unable to shoot properly, I took matters in my own hands and ended up knifing a player to finally give our team our first win. At least we weren't gonna get 16-0'd. Now, I want you guys to listen to the calls that I got in this particular round, because I make a really stupid mistake here. Watch this. I show myself to the player inside of the site, even though I can clearly hear him, have no concept of him, and just get destroyed. So here's the round with calls. One, uh, one Xbox. It says one Xbox, so I focus on him. Able to take him down. Oh my god, I'm lagging so bad. And complaining about the lag. We all know about that. We're at like 120 ping. One calls checkers. So I know that. And one Z. So I'm going to focus on Z because I see my buddy going over the checkers. Buddy dies. I'm going to run over here and try to trade as quickly as I can. Able to take him down, which is nice. Still going to focus on Z because the guy called it. He said 1A. That's the call that really messed me up here. And it's all my fault. He said 1A. So in my mind, one guy's A. That was unintelligible. Then he says 1CT. I think the Z guy is now CT. So I'm like, all right. So now we know where they both are. There's two left. 1CT, 1A. Mating into the site just in case. Upper, upper. Okay, so I'm like, that's the CT guy. He's come over to there. And I still think there's a guy in A, and that's why I get taken down. I didn't think about it the right way. What really happened was the A player moved to CT, and I didn't really understand that. And the player who was pushing into the site didn't call anything, but I should have trusted my own instincts and my own ears. My instinct was to throw the nade into the site like somebody was hiding in there. That nade actually hit the guy down 40 health. It was a perfect nade on him. I... I heard him too, but my brain didn't register it because in my mind I was going off of the calls and I had this image in my head of these two players, one in A and one from CT going up to upper. This round, even though we won it, was another stupid mistake on my part. I got killed from behind from Checker. I'll show you what happened here, what really happened here. And in my mind now, I realize, like, when you're taking B on cash, you need to leave one player to watch behind, make sure nobody's flanking, as well as watch the vents, because the vents are going to be a very common place for player to push through, even though this guy just walked through the smoke past one of our teammates there. This was the other round that we won on T side, so we ended the half at three. And I wanted to show it because it does highlight the importance of having one single strand call. Now you can't hear the what I'm saying, but I didn't take on that role. I basically just called when to buy and that sort of a stuff, and then just played my part and did my role on the team. And somebody called, let's do a slow B on this round. And the CTs have been rotating very heavily, so at this point, I'm calling for them to rotate to A. I'm like, get out of B, let's just go A. And if you saw the full minimap at this point, you could see, like, it made perfect sense to rotate over to A. It took them a long time to do it. One guy wanted to keep pushing there and said, oh, they're smoked out, we need to keep pushing. He gets punished for it. It's just a disaster of a round happening, and it's been happening over and over and over again here. I'm over an A, and I'm try gonna try to secure it until my our teammates can rotate. I figured, you know, I'm close enough. We saw even a team kill there. So now it's two versus three, um, and I'm just gonna try and hold this site until my guy gets there with a bomb, and he takes forever to get here. 
However, we're finally able to win it just because I shot well at the end of the day. And for some reason, they didn't call and say that I was at quad. You'd think they'd be pre-looking that position that I was at and would be able to pick me up easily. Said he's walking around inside of the site. And there's the final kill. The second half was lovely. We only lost a single round and mounted an impressive comeback. Everybody did their job. Everybody communicated. Everybody rotated properly. I honestly believe that I lucked out on the team I matched with because these guys who could hardly get a single kill on the T side, they had the right attitude about the game. I didn't see very much action, but I took my role as a mid player and an opera and just rolled with it. It wasn't the most exciting, but it worked, and with the proper patience and game sense, we were ready for anything the other team tried to do. After they started playing against my op, I decided to start playing it more aggressively at mid and pushed up. So I wasn't opping mid for the second half of the second half. Um, I secured mid control for our team, so smoking up and running up there, allowing for a quick rotate on myself over to B through the vents, pretty much all of the different skills I've taught in my videos. I tried to use here on cash because honestly that's just how I play my problem though was execution I have really slow reaction time and need to work more on my timing my aim is dead on I always move the crosshair right to the head the problem for me right now is clicking at the appropriate time with more patience and more games under my belt I'm confident I can get into fighting shape I did notice a very bad habit that I'm doing in these videos and that is ducking every time I shoot with the m4 it is a really newbie thing to do, and it's kind of embarrassing that I'm doing it here. And I noticed it as I was going over it, so it's like, I need to work on that as well and try to avoid ducking it. One of the things you can do to, to stop that habit, it's a very common bad habit, is to unbind duck and go into a deathmatch and just play over and over and over and shoot people. Unbind it so you can't actually duck. Now, there are times when ducking makes sense, obviously, but if you if you find yourself ducking at every single shot and not, like, peeking corners properly... You're doing something wrong. So I'm doing something wrong here, definitely. The big difference between the teams was attitude. Our team was having fun, telling each other nice job when someone picked up a couple of frags, making calls constantly, laughing, joking, and overall just having fun. The other team had toxic players who even started to attack each other. I honestly think this was one of the determining factors in this game and led to us mounting a significant comeback on the CT side, where a lack of leadership and communication coupled with unfortunate server issues led to our destruction on the T side to start it off. After updating my game, I was pleased to find my rank restored. Supreme Master First Class, one rank away from Global Elite. You know, this isn't going to be a very long series if the first episode is one rank away from Global Elite. I honestly expected it to be like Legendary Eagles, so it would be a little bit longer, like maybe th like four episodes. Uh... After many a year, I was known to be tied once again by the Valve Corporation to find damn dirty cheaters. 